So we've now met the chain rule, and in this video I want to show you some examples of using it. So, for this first one, we have y is equal to x plus 2 to the power of 100. So, we're first going to set up that substitution. So, let u is equal to the x plus 2. So, y is now equal to u to the power of 100. Okay? So, then, we want a du by dx. So, du by dx is equal to just 1. And dy by du is equal to 100 u to the power of 99. So the 100 comes down on the front, take 1 off the power. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So 100 u to the 99 times 1. Okay? So u was x plus 2, so this is 100 x plus 2 to the power of 99. So that's a lot easier than multiplying out 100 brackets, differentiating each term individually, and then refactorizing it. Okay? That was nice and simple. Okay, so that's number one. So let's have a look at number two. So I'll leave those pieces there, like so. Okay, so the second one. First, identify what u is going to be. That's the 6x minus 3. So y is u to the power of 5. So du by dx will be 6. And dy by du will be 5u to the 4. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So 5, 6 is a 30. And I'm going to get u, which is 6x minus 3, all to the power of 4. So hopefully you're starting to key in and see the pattern emerging. How the derivative of what's inside comes outside, and the 5 comes down to the front. So you're getting the 6 from the inside, and the 5 coming down. So that makes the 30, and then we're taking 1 off the power. Let's try the next one. Okay, so maybe you want to have, have a guess at what the next one's going to be. Okay, so write down your guess. Um, think about the derivative coming out to the front. The 4 coming down to the front as well. Okay, and then taking 1 off the power. So the u will be 3x cubed minus 2x plus 1, and the y will be u to the power of 4. So du by dx will be 9x squared minus 2. u to the power of 4 is 4u cubed. So dy by dx is dy by du, 4u cubed, times... This 9x squared minus 2. That 9x squared minus 2 should be in a bracket. Okay? So then, I'm going to multiply through that 4. So I'm going to have 4 lots of 9 is 36x squared. 4 lots of 2 is, minus, is 8, so minus 8. And then I've got u to the power of 3. Now u is this, so this 3x cubed minus 2x plus 1. And it's now cubed. Now I didn't have to bring that 4 inside there. I could have had 4 lots of 9x squared minus 2 times that. That's perfectly fine. Okay? So that is what you should get. So let's now have a look at the last one, number 4. Now you might want to have a go at this yourself before seeing me work through the solution. So you can pause the video if you like. I'm going to rewrite this as 8x plus 5 to the power of a half. Okay? So think about that 8 coming outside, the derivative of what's inside, the half coming down to the front and taking 1 off the power. So u is 8x plus 5, so y is u to the power of a half. du by dx is 8. 
dy by du is one half u to the minus a half. So dy by dx is dy by du, one half u to the minus a half times du by dx, which is eight. So half times eight is four. u was eight x plus five. And so that's to the minus a half now. Okay, and that is how we can differentiate each of these four. And hopefully you started to key in to how we can differentiate these quickly without having to show all of these steps.